Hello and welcome to Binary News, my name is Amata, today is the 12th of July and this time I'm bringing you some news regarding the PlayStation 4. Now as you may know, especially if you watched Paul's video on the topic a few days ago, the PS4 hasn't been doing that amazingly in Japan. And while the SE boss, Andrew House, has spoken out to basically try and explain why that is. Now... When Andrew was speaking to Eurogamer, he said that while the console had a banner start, interest has unfortunately tapered off since it first arrived in retail. And he did attribute the lack of continued sales in part to wariness of Japanese developers. And he said, quote, It's going okay in Japan. There was a slight level of concern around the viability of the console market in Japan. And we're conscious of the fact that we have not yet had the sort of groundswell of native content from Japanese publishers and developers. I view that as temporary. There's definite developer and publisher enthusiasm for the platform, especially having seen the overarching success it's had in markets outside of Japan. For whatever reasons, when we're evangelizing around the platform, we were having a tougher sale with Japanese publishers and developers. Now, of course, the PS4 has been doing very, very well in the West, and according to House, the reason for that is due to streaming services, which apparently have yet to make much of an impact for the Japanese. And he said, quote, We'll see over time great games come from Japanese publishers and developers. That's point number one. Point number two, which is hampering us a little bit, is for a variety of other structural reasons around the entertainment industry in Japan, we're not seeing that secondary usage. Those two are colluding together. And we also had some comments from Mark Cerny, who spoke with Eurogamer at the Develop Conference in Brighton, saying, quote, It's because the products are not there to compel the people to buy the console. We'll have a much better read on that in a year or two after the Japanese publishers start releasing those interesting titles. Now, for those who are wondering, at launch Japan during February, the console sold about 322,083 units within two days, which did outsell the PS3 by about 88,000 units during the same time frame. But at the time of, of recording, the PS4 has only moved 620,000 units in Japan, and last week only outsold the PlayStation 3 by 500 units. So basically what they're saying is that it's just lacking the support from the Japanese developers. Of course, basically I think what's happening is the Japanese are waiting for those big releases, a reason to buy the console at the moment. You know, they might not be particularly like interested in the games that are out. There's no big JRPG being released, or at least not re anytime soon. Of course, we've got Final Fantasy XV and Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out, but... You know, Kingdom Hearts 3, go take your guesses to what that, when that's coming out, and Final Fantasy 15, well, it's probably not going to be until next year at the earliest, most likely. So, they're probably just waiting for that, that game from that Japanese developer, and then it will probably start to pick up. So, at the moment, I just think, unfortunately, it's lacking support from the Japanese development scene, but hopefully that picks up soon. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.